I'm John Hingles, Senior Pastor of First Presbyterian Church. This is your Saturday morning preview of Sunday morning sermon, and yes, I'm doing it on Friday afternoon. So uh, we are finishing up our series of sermons on the book of Esther. And part of the challenge of ending a series is concluding the series, right? You need to you need to figure out why we started this journey to begin with. And I, I'll say up front, I have had such a good time preaching this series. As I said to you uh, on August 7th, this is the first time I've ever preached a series of sermons on Esther. Uh, I've only preached on Esther three times. And I looked this up. Uh, one time I preached, it was actually at someone's ordination uh, service. So the, I've really only preached this uh, sermon twice on a Sunday. And it was on the very scripture that um, Joyce preached on with that great line from Mordecai, but who knows, Queen Esther, maybe you are in uh, this royal position for such a time as this. So all that being said, we've got to figure out how do we conclude all this. And so we end our series with Haman's plot to wipe out all of the Jewish people because he's mad at Mordecai because Mordecai refused to bow. And Haman is, gets the king to, to go with him on this, not knowing that Queen Esther is Jewish herself. And the king, of course, doesn't know this either. And so Mordecai comes back to Esther and says to Esther, you know, you've got to intervene on our behalf. Esther is hesitant about this. I mean, it's one thing to tell the king that that his advisors are trying to kill him, but, but this isn't about the king. This is about the Jewish people. And if, and if Esther does intervene, she knows then her secret of being Jewish will be exposed. So Mordecai again tells Esther that you can do it or not do it. It doesn't really matter because, because we will find our deliverer. Uh, but don't think you'll be spared. And then he says those famous words about, who knows, Esther, maybe you are here in this place at this time for such a time as this. And Esther takes Mordecai's words to heart and so she comes up with a plan and, and uh, to save her people. And not only does the plan work, we'll talk about that Sunday. So come Sunday to find out what the plan was. Uh, not only does that work, but, but Haman loses his life. The king kills Haman. And our text focuses on, really it's the very end of the text, it focuses on Mordecai's decree establishing the festival of Purim. Well, Purim, as we have talked about, is still celebrated today by the Jewish people. It is a celebration in remembering their salvation, meaning they remember the day that Esther intervened on behalf of King Xerxes and the people were saved. Well, we are a people saved, right? All of us have been saved through the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And so, in many ways, we should celebrate a form of Purim, remembering when we were saved, every day. And that's what we're going to talk about. And so, I look forward to seeing you this Sunday. Uh, I don't think I have any other announcements. Shout out to Will Fraley and to Glenn Emery, biggest fans of Saturday Morning Preview of Sunday Morning Sermon. I just look forward to seeing you and being with you, and uh, I hope you have a good Saturday.